everybody. Welcome back to Tootie's Kitchen. Today we're going to be reviewing a uh, professional's, <laughs> get it, um, a professional soft bristle, um, it's a corn brush. I, I, I think that's the actual professional name of it, is a corn brush. It is made by profession, professionals with the fresh, <laughs> get it. Anyways, <laughs> we're moving on. But um, this product, I saw it, and I don't know why I wanted to try it. I, it was like four bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. But its goal, its main purpose, is to get those little hairs off of your corn after you husk it. Um, so we're going to see if it does that. I'm very curious to see if it does that. I've never, ever tried a product like this before. I've only ever done it with my hands. And I will be honest, when you go to grill corn or boil it or whatever you're going to do with it that day, those little hair things can get pretty annoying to sit there and, and tediously um, mess with. So we're going to see if this little thing works. It's just what you see. Um, these are, hmm, what are they? So they're a little bit stiffer than a brush like this for your cups, you know, from the store. They're just a little bit thicker than that, and they're kind of pointier so they can get down in there, but it's along the same lines as far as thickness and how stiff it is. So you guys are gonna come down here with me. We're gonna take the peel off of this corn, and we're gonna see if this thing does what it says it's gonna do. So follow me down. So we're gonna, I haven't even taken this corn out of the bag, and I know that it's not um, corn season. It's way, way past that season. But I, went, I found some in stores, so yay for that. And we're gonna see what happens here. Um, so yeah. And again, I'm not like a professional corn husker, so I could be completely doing, but yeah, you can definitely tell it's not corn season because look at all of that down there. So I'm gonna leave, you know how like you would take all this? I'm gonna leave all that on. It's gonna make a mess. All right, we're gonna just stick this. I have a trash can over here to my left, so we're gonna stick this right in the trash can. And now we're gonna try this. I, it doesn't give any instructions at all. Um, all you see is this front page. And then on the back, it says, helpful hint or fresh hints, remove silks by brushing it downward in downward strokes. To grill corn, remove silks but leave leaf husks attached. Okay, so if you're gonna grill this, you just leave the husks at the bottom, wherever the bottom was at, down here, and then you would take this off and then put the husks back over it so you could grill it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna see how this thing works. I'm not sure about it yet. Let's see. Okay, so currently I feel like it's doing nothing to be honest with you. And I see nothing, well, I saw like one thing fall off. Okay, so you have to apply some pressure. I'm not really sure what I was expecting, honestly. Okay, so the more that I use it, you're supposed to go down. So you're supposed to go the opposite way, which makes sense. I don't know if you guys can see, so I'm just brushing it down like that, and I don't know. I, you know what, I can't say I don't know, because I do. I think it did a pretty good job. There was a lot left, you can see all of this on here, on my little cutting board right here, that it got off, and Overall, the corn is pretty clean. I mean, there's not a whole lot of those little hairs left on there, and I didn't have to sit there and do it. I don't know. I'm just, I'm torn because I don't know if I would use this on day-to-day -day life. Um, there's still a lot. I can't say a lot. There's still some, like, in the little crevices, but you're never going to get rid of all that, I don't feel like. And there's some on the brush, which is going to be really hard to see. But I think you can see that it caught some of it. The other question that I have, okay, so we're going to backtrack for a second. I would say that this did a fairly good job. Like, I would say that it did a, a decent eight. 
as far as this con is concerned. I left a lot on. It got a lot. Um, so, yeah, it does what it says it's supposed to do. I can give the corn husker that much. Okay, so my final thoughts on this product are it did a pretty good job. It did about an 8 out of 10. I have very little of those little hairs left on my corn, which for some people drives them insane. For me, because I don't think I really care either way if there's a lot on or if there's not, um, I'm not like wowed by this product, but it does do what it says it's supposed to do, which is important. The other thing that I'm, I'm curious about is cleaning it. I actually have a sink full of water right here. So I'm gonna just quickly take it and see, that's what I was worried about. So what's happening is those little husks, those little hairs, I don't even know what you call them, honestly, but the little hairs on the corn, they get stuck in the little bristles and it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get it cleaned out. So to me, that's that's a pretty big flaw. It doesn't say anything about it being dishwasher safe. Oh no, it does, it says hand wash only. So you're not supposed to put this in the dishwasher, um, which to a lot of people is a big downer because we all you know, hate standing over the dish, dish pot, um, over the dish sink doing dishes. So that's kind of a bummer. So I would say this is an eight out of 10. I'm probably not gonna use it a whole lot. It's, you know, it really doesn't affect my life any. But if you guys see this in the stores and those little bitty hairs just drive you insane on your corn and you can't stand it, it does a fairly good job of getting them all off. They're not gonna burn on the grill or anything like that. When you go to boil it, there's not gonna be a whole lot on there. Um, again, my big downside to this product is those, those little hairs do get stuck in the bristles of the actual, um, product that you're using and so cleaning it is going to be not so fun so um this was the corn brush by professionals and i hope that you guys had a good time visiting 2d's kitchen and i hope to see you guys next time have a good night bye Whoa.